Okay, we've got five minutes, folks, and I've got some algebraic fractions. You ready? Yeah. All right. When you're doing fractions and you're adding or subtracting them, what do they have to have before you can do it? Denominator. Well done. Same denominator. All right, here we have a five and we have a four. What are we going to do? Yeah, you just want to do... All right, so we end up with 4 outside of x minus 1, and we end up with 5 outside of x plus 3. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah? And would you agree that I can just do that? Yes. Because I've made the denominator the same. That was the whole point, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is everyone happy with that? Yeah. We're running out of time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to expand these brackets, cool? All right, so we end up with what? 4x minus 4? Then what? Yeah. I don't know why I wrote a 3. Negative 15. Cool. So we've now expanded. Now we collect... I did 4 times everything in the bracket and then minus 5 times everything in the bracket. And that's why it's minus 15 because it's minus 5 times everything in the bracket. Cool? Now, I collect like terms. Uh, yeah, in a way, but we're not using... it Because it's not binomial product, you're actually only... Yeah. 4x and 5x. Okay. 4x minus 5x, excuse me. Negative 20x. I'm going to assume it's negative x. You're not multiplying them, you're subtracting. Or, yeah. And then you've got minus 4, minus 15. Dunskis. Main thing is to remember, you've done fractions, you know you need the same denominator. You knew how to change it so they had the same denominator. You know how to expand these. You know how to collect like terms. You know how to simplify. You know how to do these. Cool bananas? Yeah, go on.